Hey guys, welcome back to Gear by Orla. Today I'm reviewing and comparing the H5 Smart Suitcase in comparison to the M5 Essential Suitcase by the brand Horizon Studios. What is the actual difference between the Smart and the Essential suitcase? So the real difference between the two is the fact that the Essential doesn't have the removable charger. The Essential doesn't have the compression pads, it does have double the interior mesh, but it doesn't have the premium laundry bags. The H5 Smart cabin luggage at 35 litres is priced at $445. The M5 Essential Cabin Luggage 33 litres is priced at $445. Here's a photo of them facing front on and then another photo of them side by side. The dimensions of the H5 Smart here are 40 by 55 by 20 centimetres. The item weight is 3.1 kg. So for the H5 Smart you can also get it in the 66 centimetres and also the 77 centimetres which you know gives you a lot of options. They also come in beautiful colors. This is the dark olive and I believe they have another glossy color which is absolutely lush. You can head over to their website to check out their array of colors and options. M5 Essential is slightly bigger than the H5 Smart. So the dimensions of the M5 Essential are 40 times 55 times 23 centimeters and the extra item weight which is 3.4 kg for this bike. So for the M5 Essential, it is in the color blue. You can head over to their website again to check out their colors and options. I would recommend going over there and having a wee gander on their website. They have some beautiful colors and options for you. I always like to reiterate to check with your airline to ensure that the measurements fit their requirements because there is nothing worse than going to the airport and the wee air hostess being like, here love, fit that in there. And you're like, no bother. You do it and it doesn't fit and you're left there scundered. <laughs> then when it doesn't fit, they're like, yep, that'll be five grand and a sample of your blood, please. It is ridiculous pricing, but I completely understand. Uh, it is up to you to check with the airline and their requirements. So go do that before purchasing any bag. So to get into why I don't have the other suitcase here with me, that is just basically down to the fact that last year in February, I was out with... Dream Big Travel Far in Budapest. If you don't know who Dream Big Travel Far are, they are one of the largest travel blogs on the web. So do go over and check out their website. Yes, we were in Budapest and it was basically the survival of the fittest of which I was going where. And I got this one. I have had the opportunity to review it as you would have seen proof in the picture here. I have had that bag before. However, it is now with them. I've had the other one. I just don't physically have it here, but I have reviewed it. I know what it's like and I want it, but I got this one. So, you win some, you lose some, eh, buddy? Insane. I'm actually, actually crazy. If you do want to check out their travels around the world, then check out their Instagram. I will pop it up here and the link will be in the description. So it's time to get into the pros and cons of each bag. If you haven't figured out already which one I prefer, then grab a wee cuppa while I delve into the details. let's delve into the pros and cons of the H5 Smart carry-on suitcase. On first impressions this bag is absolutely lovely, I love the colour, I love how compact it is and I absolutely love the hard exterior shell. Overall it is a lovely bag and I definitely recommend it. It is pricey but it is definitely worth the investment. The thing that makes this bag stand out the most is its one click removable smart charger. Which comes in handy for long layovers at the airport if you need a charging point. It's tucked in behind the main extendable handle so it's not obvious for people to see or steal. It's covered by a clickable flap. It's really cool and cute. I love the fact that they have Horizon Studios labelled on it and it is cabin approved, you know, in regards to having a battery on board. 
Moving on to the outside of the bag and the material, the H5 features a premium polycarbonate hard shell that is partially recycled. So not fully, but it is completed with recycled polyester lining. It is 100% vegan, which I love to hear, and it is produced in a way that is 99% waste free. It is a solid bag, I really do have to say that. It would hold up in a turbulence if you did essentially think about checking in this bag or if you got the bigger one of this that you do have to check in or even in the overhead locker and it moving about it is very durable and hard. I give this bag a strong 8 out of 10. The only reason I give it an 8 is the fact that it does scratch easily but some people say that that gives the bag character so you would expect that over time with any bag I feel but it is that kind of material as you would have seen that has some scratches. So the wheels on all the bags are 360 Spinner wheels which are great for moving about efficiently around an airport and getting you to your gate as quickly as possible or just maneuvering around easily. So the zips are lovely and smooth, you actually do have a little bit of an extra point on the ends of the zippers which is for the TSA lock. So the bag is TSA locked approved, if you're a bit like myself I am not a fan of this just for the pure fact that I don't remember a code but if you are then this bag has that advantage. It is easy to do, all you need to do is get your clips, place them down, get your code, pull this back, clip it in, done. And to release, that's that. So opening up the bag, you're not overwhelmed by 100 million pockets, just got everything that you need. <laughs> the H5 Smart does actually include premium laundry bags, however the team at Dream Big Travel Far have taken them. I would like them returned to me but it does come with those laundry bags as you would have seen in the picture which is really handy in terms of saving the freaking planet and using plastic bags you can use your laundry bag perfecto so let's just go through each side of the bag on your left is the main compartment so you open this up where you can put like shoes or your the the premium bags laundry bags that i don't have with this in there. You win some, you lose some. Really nice material in terms of it being wipeable if you do s wipeable, is that the word? Washable? Wipe down easily, basically. If you spill anything inside there, then it's easy to just get it off. There is a, an extra pocket here. You could use for anything really. It is quite small, so I'm thinking like your toothbrush and stuff like that. It zips nicely got a mesh. I love a wee bit of mesh so that you can see kind of what's inside so you're not really hooking for too long. Okay, now moving on to this side of the bag. How am I going to show you it? Can you see it? Adjustable straps for your compression pad which is also a laptop compartment. The same kind of material which is great if you have valuables in there and you need to wipe whatever you've spilled over correctly it's quite easy for that and then you've got two compartments here on this side they have suggested putting like your cables for your phones or whatnot in there and then the other one is for your imagination the clips in nice you can adjust it to whatever size you need this presses down so it keeps in all your clothing and items in there safely of the horizon studios imprinted on the bottom of the straps so the reason i haven't mentioned the handle is the main reason why i want to book this bike into the sky and never see it again but i guess that leads me to the cons of this bike the handle the handle the handle and i'm not talking about this lovely handle that is on front by the way we have one here and we have one here fab <laughs> no 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 i'm talking about this Oh. Mm -hmm. I've just had a lot of issues of it stopping at a certain height and being crunched over not able to move it up I have walked around so many times and it's stuck it's stuck at about here and when and if you say to me oh go slow with it or pull it up easier do you not think I've tried that so I don't know if it's just a faulty one and it doesn't doesn't make the bag overall a bad bag like i think it's lovely and beautiful and whatnot but i think i got a faulty one because this handle
Okay, now it's time for the M5 Essential Carry-On Suitcase Pros and Cons. I will say there is no major difference inside the bag of the Essential in comparison to the M5 Smart. The only big difference is the fact that the M5 Smart has the laptop compartment at the front, which is great and I love and appreciate. I just quickly want to show you the laptop compartment in this bag. Um, I have this bag with me currently on our road trip. I love it, but it doesn't take all size laptops. So this is Brad's laptop. It's um, smaller than my laptop. This one's gonna fit perfectly. This one's gonna struggle. So the laptop compartment is vegan. It is water resistant and it fits a 15 inch laptop. What I can tell you as well is that I have taken this bag with me on every sort of short trip we've done since I got this bag. Um, I love that there's four spinner wheels, it smooths and it, it just glides through the airport, it's great. In terms of the inside of the M5 Essential, it doesn't have the laptop compartment on the inside of the bag, it has it on the front of the bag in comparison to the H5 Smart Bag. It doesn't have a laptop compartment on the front, it has it within the bag. So inside the essential laptop compartment, there is additional pockets that you can place anything you need in there alongside your laptop. And then in front of the laptop compartment, there is an additional pocket. So it's really just down to security and how you prefer to have your laptop, if you prefer to have it in the front or if you prefer to have it on the inside of the suitcase. The M5 Essential is also TSA approved, so again, down to preference whether you will use that lock or not. So I just want to quickly make a comparison in compared to the Horizon Studios M5 Essential to the Roadrunner carry-on suitcase from the brand Level 8. So this bag has a TSA lock and it locks the front compartment as well as the main compartment. In comparison to the M5 Essential, it has a TSA lock but it doesn't lock the front compartment. So it really is down to security. The level eight review will be up now. So head over to my channel to check that out. Also another thing to note is on the M5 Essential, the material on the front compartment is softer. Now for me personally, I prefer, I prefer a harder exterior for a laptop compartment, just in terms of safety with your valuable belongings. So, it's really up to you. I would advise going and checking out that review as well. I've had no complaints about the M5 Essential handle. Um, as you would have seen in the photo, I have used it and I find it much better in terms of moving about. So in terms of comparison, the H5 Smart Suitcase has the removable charger. It doesn't have the laptop in front. It has it inside the suitcase. It has some extra little detail pockets. The compression pad that holds on the the clothes inside the suitcase then in comparison to the m5 essential it has the laptop compartment in front it doesn't have the compression pad and um, that holds on the clothes with the laptop on top it just has two main compartments for me personally i would head over to horizon studios the links will always be in the description for the products mentioned today head over there and check out i advise to go check out their m5 smart suitcase which is a better option in terms of combining the two into one then you have the laptop compartment in front you've got the charger both of the bags are great it's just down to whether you want a laptop on front or a laptop inside and whether you want the removable charger or not we've had these bags for a year now and um, as mentioned i have the h5 smart here with me and kazi and bradley have the m5 essential and they've never had any complaints they have traveled around the world with that bag i will say they are great bags yes they are pricey but they are durable water resistant and long lasting bags that are worth the investment if you would prefer to read the written review the link is in the description along with the links to the products i have mentioned today don't forget to subscribe and if you have any other products that you would like me to review then leave a comment below until then see you in the next video